Hello, my crafty friends. Today I am sharing a fun fold card for Halloween. I was working on some new release cards for Karen Berniston with a Halloween theme. And while I had everything out, I decided to go ahead and make a shutter card as well. This is the Lawn Fawn shutter card. I'm gonna show you the card and then I can go over some of the details. So this is held closed with a belly band and that cute little pumpkin. And that slides off and you open the card like a gatefold card and the shutters open to reveal that cute little spider in there. I added a sentiment on the back as well and then I used my label maker to put a slide off. I'm pretty sure this will be going to a card maker who knows what to do with it but just in case I end up sending it to someone who isn't sure. I have that slide off. If they can't figure out how to open it, they will always turn it over and the slide off will be there. As usual, my card started with this pattern paper. It's from Doodlebug and all of the purple bits, the stars and the purple polka dots, they're flocked. They're beautiful. And I'm not sure, but I think those green ones are actually glow in the dark, oh, which is so fun. And then last year, I'm pretty sure it was after Halloween or very close to Halloween, Scrapbook.com had a big sale on Halloween elements and I am a fan of Doodlebug and their, this is the odds and ends. So I picked up, oh gosh, I think I picked up three packages of different ones from Doodlebug. You can see how many you get in a package and I'm set for life <laughs> for these little elements. But it also means I don't have to be frugal. I can put a whole bunch on a single card if I if I think the card needs it. So some fun ones I'm gonna add on to mini slim lines, but I wanted to show you that this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, 90 pack, 90 pieces. Oof. So this is the odds and ends candy carnival. Everything that's available will be linked on my blog and my blog is in that description box below. Now there isn't a whole lot of room when you decorate all of the panels to sign your name. So that is why I added the signing block at the back, a narrow strip of the patterned paper, and then some more of the elements. And that's where I stamp my sentiment, and of course that's where we can sign as well. The sentiment stamp is actually a fairly new one. It is from Paper Tray Inc. and it's Inside Greetings Halloween. Excuse the little green parts there, my label maker was, that was the very last of it. Um, of that particular cartridge and I changed it afterwards. So there's some cute sentiments in it. I'm, You know, everyone has Happy Halloween, but very few companies actually come up with sentiments that you can put on the inside of a card. So hoping this Halloween brings you more treats than tricks. May you have a scary good Halloween. So there's some fun sentiments in there to put inside the cards and I really like that one and I'll have that linked on my blog as well, as long as it's still available. And then same thing with this. This is the Boo and the Eek. It is from Photoplay and I got that last year as well. And you can see I used it here. I cut the shadow dye for the eek out of the purple and then the detail layer out of black and I spritzed it with shimmer spray. I'm never sure how well the shimmer spray shows up on video. I also added these cute little uh, spiders from Doodlebug. They can be a little bit hard to see. That's a better one you can see there, but they do catch the light and in real life they show up better. The shutter card and shutter card add-on is from Lawn Fawn. I tell you, these go together so quick and easy. Folded, my card is smaller than an A2. It is three and a half by five inches, but when it's open, it's a full seven by five inches. So it still feels fairly substantial and I'm not put off by the small size of it when it's closed up. It does fold down fairly flat. And this one, I'm pretty sure this one will mail for a single stamp. One of the things I like to do with my shutter cards is I add a piece of acetate to this front panel here. So I just make sure that it comes above and below where these arms are going to slide so that nothing catches. It's more like a camera shutter with the acetate on it, but then it also gives you the ability to add embellishments onto that acetate so they look like they're floating. And these little enamel dots came in the same packages as the spiders. I added Wink of Stella to several of the items including this little pumpkin on his mouth and his cheeks. This fall away circle came when, when I cut out this add-on panel and you're able to use it with the belly band. And the die set actually comes with the belly band piece. So everything that you need is included. You don't even need the add-on set, but I do like the add-on set because I have to do a little less fiddling and then there's the stitching around that circle. So there is just a fun little Halloween card. And with the number of Doodlebug ephemera pieces I have, you're gonna be seeing lots of, lots of Halloween cards. I think I'll be sending out all kinds of them this year. 
Hitting that like button is a huge help to YouTubers. If you enjoyed my card today, please hit that like button. I'd love you to subscribe to see more. And that's it for me today.